Okay, here we are in the kitchen. Um, just went and got all this stuff out of the garage. Uh, like Wes had probably discussed with you, um, $1,500 is probably a good price for all this that I'm about to show you. Um, there's definitely well over, I don't know, I know I spent more than $3,000 on this hobby, but what I'm about to show you is there's probably $2,000 worth of stuff here. So I'll just kind of start going at it kind of briefly. The tires, you know, you got the dyed bead locks. I did those. Those tires are great shape. There's the front tires for it. Those have never actually hit the dirt. And you'll see several tires in here that are in really good shape. I had a fascination with wheels and tires for this thing. At one point I even bought the uh, aluminum bead locks. Anyway, the Baja is clean. Um, I haven't ran it in a while. Uh, the motor's good. I've got an extra motor there. That motor didn't get ran very much either because I was excited to get this motor. Uh, steel header, tuned pipe, out front frames, carbon fiber stuff. Obviously these blue slicks have never even touched the ground. Uh, the umbrella seals in the shocks. Um, probably several different types of springs and stuff in here. Uh, there's a body cover that I never painted, never been opened. I mean, I got bags of replacement parts. These are the aluminum front bead locks that match those kind of things. Um, yeah. There's some air filter cleaners. There's some masking for that thing. Um, there's three different bodies in here. I, I painted all of these. Um, that one actually took me a while. I, I used the liquid mask and I sat around and I spent a lot of time. That's all hand drawn. Uh, I mean there's no other really, I, I didn't know of any other real way to do it. So anyway, even got into some different colored paints. There's a radio, there's a couple of little switches and uh, amp detectors, peak things. Um, these are cool, these windows right here. These, uh, these go on this extra roll cage that I've got. This is the original roll cage. And uh, there's a peak charger. Uh, there's just plastic. These are like original plastic parts. Uh, <laughs> GBE extenders fucking suck. I've got the axle extenders on there. I mean, so I really got into it, and there's a lot of stuff here. Here's more shock covers. Obviously, I'm not using the blue ones. Um, yeah, I'll dig through all this stuff and uh, just try to... Basically, I'm wanting to get rid of my Baja hobby. I want to continue to fly uh, RC stuff. I'm kind of interested in some of the stuff Wes has got going with his RC stuff. And, uh, yeah, that's it. There's a lot of stuff here. I don't even know if we looked in this box. Oh, here's a little thing with just, you know, knickknacks. I mean, a pull, a pull start thing, just, you know, JB Weld, just all that kind of crap is in there. There's the manuals. This is the uh, Baja 5B. Uh, and this is the, the one I had to build. This was the model. Uh, unique thing about this one. I took it and had it re-anodized and clear coated. Uh, you can't buy these things with uh, silver anodized and carbon fiber and uh, that was fun. I painted that. That's on the bottom side of this. That's Lexan. It's got a nice brake kit on it. Uh, carbon fiber support beams back here. Golly, it's been like two years since I've played with all this stuff. I don't even remember the names of everything. but. Um, Anyway, yeah, I think it's a good deal. Um, definitely want to sell it as a whole package because I'm ready to get this stuff out of my garage, out of my new house. Um, yeah, and I want to make some room so I can fly some airplanes and shit. So anyway, here you go.